draw an involute of a circle of 40 mm diameter. Also draw a normal and tangent at a point 100 millimeters from the center of the circle. All right, so we've been given a circle and its diameter has been given as 40 millimeters. All right, now if you try to find the circumference of the circle, it's gonna work out as pi d and putting the values, you'll get this as 125.7. Now guys, if you look at the definition of involute, we speak of wounding or unwounding a piece of thread or a piece of string, all right? But no such string length has been given to us in this particular problem. So we're gonna assume this string length as, or we're gonna assume the string length equivalent to that of the circle circumference, which in fact has been worked out as 125.7. So let's start the construction process. So we have a point uh, which represents the center of this circle. Uh, having a di radius of 20 millimeters diameter has been given to us as 40 so the radius is 20 all right now let's do four divisions of this circle let's make these four divisions eight divisions something like this all right now let's name each and every point starting from this point we have this as one two three four five six seven and let's say this one is p all right now we have to place a string and right now we'll be placing a string in the form of a line somewhere along here okay like this now this string is having a length of 125.7 which in fact is equivalent to that of circle circumference all right moving ahead we're going to divide this line or a string into eight equal parts and for that i'll be drawing a line from this point p okay at any suitable angle and of any suitable length like this all right i'll be placing arcs of one centimeter radii like this eight arcs for eight divisions all right this particular point has to be joined with the end of this line all right something like this keep your mini drafters along this line tighten the screw bring it to the seventh point draw a line bring it to the sixth point draw a line keep on doing so until all the points um, have been exhausted and finally you're going to realize that this string or this line has been divided into eight equal parts all right let's name each and every one okay now the next step is to draw tangents from each and every point from one two three four let me show you how this can be done and it can be done very easily with the help of a mini drafter let's just say that this is a wheel okay and this one this line over here represents a spoke of that wheel all right so we have to draw a tangent at one and and for doing so it's pretty easy please watch this keep your mini drafter like this along this spoke okay one scale of your mini drafter along this spoke so that the other scale is absolutely perpendicular to this one then draw a line like this all right same stuff has to be repeated at point two also it's self-explanatory man okay so keep on doing so for points three four five six seven and you don't need to do this for point p okay at point p this line automatically qualifies as a tangent all right moving ahead now guys you need to keep a track of this point p when you try to wound this string along the circumference of this circle all right now let's say that this much portion of this string has come into contact over here okay then the remaining portion is going to be from one to p so with one as center i'm going to put an arc over here like this all right so this is going to be point p1 similarly let us say that this on further wounding this string we've reached <coughs> point two okay so this much portion of the string has come into contact so what's remaining is from two to p so with 2p as the radii and with now 2 as the center cut an arc here again this is going to be point p2 all right now from 3 to p 3 as center cut an arc p3 now from 4 to p 4 as the center cut an arc p4 all right 5 to p 5 as the center cut an arc p5 6 to p 6 as the center cut an arc and this is going to be p6 finally 7 to p 7 as the center cut an arc this is p7 and finally it is going to end over here and when you join all these points in proper sequence you're gonna have a curve which is popularly known as an involute now guys we are supposed to make a tangent and normal at a distance of 100 millimeters from this center all right so with this as center and with the radii of 100 millimeters you have got to cut an arc over here okay so this is this like this point lies at a distance of 100 millimeters from this point from the center in fact so let's join both these points with the help of a line so this line is having a length of 100 millimeters and its center is going to be somewhere here or at a distance of 50 millimeters from this point okay let's have the center this is the center and with this much or this much as the radii let's have a semicircle 
that now this particular semicircle you see guys is intersecting this circles circumference somewhere here let's make a point over there and when you join this point with this point over here okay you're gonna have a normal and you know very well how to place a tangent so a line perpendicular to a normal automatically qualifies as a tangent something like this it is going to just touch this curve also okay that's the tangent